So what exactly are sliders? First of all, let's take a look at what that looks like out in the street. This is what I want to create for Got Clicks. These sliders, what they do is they rotate in a different way and they convey information. So for example, I want to be able to talk about buy a website, lease a website, and build your own website. And then these components, when you click on them, they're going to open up into a tutorial teaching a little more in depth about that client and what I did to build their website. So that's what we're up to. Sliders are excellent at conveying a lot of information in a little tiny space. So let's go ahead and build that. We start with these panels and initially what you want to do is click on them and just replace the pictures but you can see it's a little harder to do it that way. So what I need to do is go into objects and when I click on objects I'm going to look for slider. Slider panel slider 9. That's hard to say fast. You'll notice when I select it that these arrows start to activate and when I click through it you can see the different selections. So the, this one has all of the websites that I want to replace these pictures with. And the second panel has the three images that I want to do with build your own website, lease your website, and buy your website. And then the next panel, this is the front panel. You never mess with that one. Just leave it alone. So how do I highlight these pictures? Well, if I click over here on my objects, it will highlight the photograph and I want to replace the center ones. These are black and white images, so I'm not going to fool with those. Well, I'll put a generic picture in there. I'll just put this guy in here for now. And I'm not totally sold on that as of yet, but it's something as a placeholder until I think of something a little more creative to do. And I'm just going to go through these images one at a time. So once I'm satisfied with that, then I'm going to move on to this group 233 with these objects inside of it. And I can click on the picture here and just replace the picture with what images I want to do. I can also make these images a little bigger by hitting the plus sign and using this little hand wand I can slide him back to uh, the left hand side to make him a little easier to see. And then I can change out this copy. And I want to have something a little more descriptive underneath each of these so I'm going to use my text box and then click and drag across and I want to have the text white so in order to do that I click on the text select and I choose six which is a white and I've already written what I want underneath each one of these so I just simply copy and paste the text inside of the text box and again just copy and paste Now if it changes the color on you, don't worry about it, just go in again into text and I'm going to choose number 6 as my color. There you go. Now if you don't want to have an eye chart, the magnifying glass is in the lower right corner. And what I can do is I can even copy and paste it so that I don't have to fool around with changing the text color again. I can certainly do that. And I'm going to copy and paste the copy that I've written already. There. And then I just want to save everything. And let's take a look. In order to preview your website, you can go to File, Preview Website, and I can preview it in Mozilla or Google Chrome, whatever one you have for your um, search engine. And we'll take a look at that in action. And that's going to work great. Now let me tell you how to animate these, because you can animate them to move left to right, right to left, vertically, horizontally. 
So let me show you how that works and also the timing of it. Sometimes these loops can move too fast and you can't read everything that's on there. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to want to go into my objects again and I'm going to be looking for the slider. That's a different slider. We want slider 9. In this particular template there are lots of sliders on this page so you want to make sure that you select the right one. And I know that because I have these tabs that open up so it can take me through each of the panels. Now what I want to do is animate it. In order to do that I need to go into the slider studio. And I want it to autoplay, so I'm going to check this box. And if I keep it at this panel loop time of 2000, it's going to be way, way too fast. Let me show you, because you won't even be able to see anything or read anything. So I want to make sure that the sliders move in a manner that people can actually read the concepts that I'm trying to get across. So if I kept it at this 2000 pace, it would be way too fast for what I'm trying to do. So in order to slow that down, I'm going to move it to 5,000. And you'll see that it's a lot easier to read. And then medley is kind of fun because it takes all of these different modalities and puts them into one. So it's a bit of a surprise seeing it show up on the site. So if I want to play it with medley, I just hit play button again and it will reveal it. So it has a fade, it has left to right, it has vertical, so all of those different modalities. Once you're happy with what your selection is, you just close the studio. One thing I'd like to do is be able to have these all on one line, so I'm just going to change the copy a little bit on this one to just say build your website, lease to own a website, and buy your website. I just want to keep it as simple as possible so when people come to my page they know quickly and easily what it is that I'm asking them to do. If I want to see the second panel again, I go to Objects. I look for my slider. I know it's slider 9. And once I have this activated, then I can quickly click through. So that's how you put the slider together. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to do a light box because what I want inside is a video explaining each of these websites that I built, the story behind them. I think people who are interested in working with me would like to know the story behind the websites that I build. So I'll show you how to do that in the next segment, light boxes and putting up videos on your Serif Web Plus website.